Hey guys, welcome to the video, Hasib here and welcome to the Go High Level Zapier integration series. Throughout the entire series, I'm going to show you how to use Zapier with Go High Level so you can send data from Go High Level to another platform using Zapier or vice versa, send data from another platform using Zapier to your high level account or you can also send Go High Level to Go High Level data transfer uh, using Zapier. So I'm, we're not going to look into that. For now, we are going to just stick to these uh, examples that you can see on the screen. I'll just make it a bit bigger so you can see it. So these are the examples we are going to try to implement in the next few videos. But uh, in this video, I'm going to just talk about Zapier and webhooks. So Zapier is, if you don't know it already, Zapier is a platform that connects two platforms together. Uh, you could call it an API, but I'd like to call it uh, like a platform that brings or that creates connection or bridges between two uh, two or more platforms in this case you could say go high level is one platform google sheets is another platform slack is another platform clickup asana or pandadoc anything else so like go high level connects with zapier and zapier connects with another platform so the bridge establishes and then you can start sending or receiving data in between these platforms right one of the technologies zapier uses is a webhook so webhook is a way for one application to automatically send data to another application when a specific event occurs so what happens in go high level is when a form submits uh, or a, like a survey submits or a calendar appointment is booked in your high level account what you can do is you can execute a webhook that zapier will use to receive a data so webhook is basically a url that can receive data so zapier gives you the url and you connect it with your go high level account that uh, receives the data when whenever there's a survey submit or forms submit based on the automation you set up right so that's the use of webhook you need to really understand what a webhook is if you want to use zapier at its full potential one more thing you need to uh, you need to know is uh, you need the paid version of zapier if you want to use it with go high level because webhook the feature webhook in zapier is a paid feature so you don't get to use it if you are on the free version there are some stuff you can do in the, on the free version but it's not enough if you want to uh, use it fully with go high level so with that being said i'm gonna go to the next video and uh, we are gonna start working on this example uh, and try to implement it so uh yeah i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.